Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video we're taking a look at the Space Mouse Wireless Kit 2. This is 3D Connections kit that contains a wireless compact mouse as well as their Space Mouse Wireless. Uh, this is a great kit for most designers, anybody that's going to be working or dabbling with some 3D as well as standard design, you're getting a CAD specific mouse along with a small and portable 3D mouse to go along with it, making moving around, zooming, panning, and orbiting your objects super simple, as well as adding a couple customizable buttons that we're going to take a look at. <laughs> So first we're going to take a look at what's inside the box, what you're getting with the kit. All right, so looking inside the box, you've got a quick start guide initially, and then you've got the standard charging cable. This is a typical USB charging cable that's going to work for both the 3D Space Mouse as well as the CAD Mouse Compact. Next you've got the 3D Space Mouse Wireless. This is a small compact 3D mouse with a couple customizable buttons as I mentioned. This is going to be super useful and portable uh, for designers on the go. It's got a great weight to it with a metal base that doesn't feel like it's going to slide around when you're using it. That also comes with a very nice carrying case for the Space Mouse Wireless, which I could see using especially if you're traveling. Next up we've got the CAD Mouse Compact Wireless which is a really nice CAD specific made mouse with additional bus buttons as well as the middle mouse button, uh, all kind of customized and ideal for CAD work. This also comes with a carrying case as well. You've also got the typical universal receiver, similar to many other mice, and this is gonna allow you to connect both devices to your computer using a single receiver. Also in the box is a high quality mouse pad uh, with the 3D connection branding on it. And overall for the uh, what's included and the price of these kits, I think this is a great option for any of those designers that need a little bit more mobility with their mouse and would like to try out the 3D mouse abilities, uh, giving you those extra pan, zoom, move commands on the left hand. Uh, as well as a few extra buttons. So I've got my CAD mouse compact connected now here. Uh, as I mentioned, I really like the feel and movement of this mouse, especially with the mouse pad that's included with the kit. Uh, I changed my settings a little bit, dialing down the speed just a touch uh, since I was used to a slightly grippier mouse pad, whereas this one has a pretty smooth finish. Uh, after that, it handles really well. Uh, I really like the three mouse buttons, using the middle one as the pan and move button. Speeds up your movement a little bit once you get used to it within CAD. I also enjoy the added button in the middle here. Uh, this allows you to bring up a quick command uh, menu. So I'll open up Fusion here. So you can see I've got this model open. And if you're using most of the supported 3D software, uh, and CAD software that 3D Connections products work with, you'll notice right away when you press this middle button, you get a little rotary uh, menu here, giving you a few options that are in addition to your typical, say, right-click options here. Uh, you can either bring up the properties of the mouse, you can undo, redo, or bring up a virtual numpad. A lot of this is customizable depending on the software that you're using with your products. Uh, and I found these can be a big time saver when drafting and designing in general. Bringing up this menu within the software is going to allow you to tweak any of the settings for the products. You can see I've got the CAD Mouse Compact connected. I've also used the CAD Mouse Pro as well as the Space Mouse Wireless I was mentioning before, uh, which we'll look at in a second. Battery life for both the mouse and the uh, Space Mouse have been great so far. Uh, I've only charged them initially upon receiving them and set up and I have not had to charge them again using them uh, most of the time for the last week and a half or week here so far. Uh, I've really enjoyed my time with them. 
uh, and I'll definitely be updating you guys as I use them more. Uh, if you haven't checked out my AutoCAD or CAD mouse reviews or blog posts in the past, I'll put a link to some of them below, but I've mentioned the CAD mouse and the CAD mouse compact as ones that I've wanted to try and have heard great things about for years now, which is why I'm excited to be sharing this with you guys today. They sent me both of these kits to kind of share with you guys and try these out to see what I think. And so far I've been really impressed. Uh, I've also looked into kind of reliability and longevity of these mice uh, from other users and everything has been positive so far. The general consensus is that they are durable and going to stand up to daily wear and tear, uh, especially the work that we put them through with design and drafting, which can be quite a bit on most mice. Now the second half of this kit, the Space Mouse here, is super useful for anybody that's going to be doing any 3D modeling or working in 3D workspaces, uh, especially in programs like Inventor, Fusion, SolidWorks, uh, any of those kind of software. I've used the Space Mouse as well as the Enterprise in the past. Uh, the Enterprise in particular, I've used a lot with Inventor in a previous job, and it really is day and night once you get used to it. Uh, being able to have all of the extra options for moving around your model uh, is a huge time saver. Uh, for example, moving forwards or backwards, up, down, left, right, as well as the ability to zoom and tilt your object around all with your left hand while keeping your right hand free to select, uh, model, draw, or select parts is a huge time saver and boost to productivity. Um, I do recommend when you get this installing the 3D connection software and going through their little training module. The training module is available with the 3D connection uh, home app here. Uh, you can download it off their website. It'll also allow you to go through any manuals, change up your settings, play around with a few things and demo the mouse as well. But the trainer here is going to give you kind of a step-by-step -step how to use the software and it's going to allow you to quickly pick it up because this is kind of difficult initially to learn the ins and outs but clicking through the tabs here is going to give you an example model to move around based on uh, the mouse movements so you can see here let's go to the panning left and right now if i hold up the mouse here moving the mouse top left or right even ever so slightly is going to move your model left and right and in the case of say a zoom forwards and back is going to zoom in and out your model you can also spin tilt roll you kind of get the point but each of these are just tiny little movements on this mouse allowing you to keep your hand basically still with single minimal finger movements to move your object around and not having to move your right hand or your mouse hand around. This kind of split, splits up the wear and tear on your hands, uh, especially after a full day of modeling and can be a big boost in general when you're trying to move around a model quickly and accurately. After going through the tutorial trainer a few times, you're gonna feel a lot more comfortable with the mouse itself uh, and it's going to allow you to speed up your design and drafting. You can see here I've got this model here, pushing and pulling, spinning, orbiting. It's uh, super quick, it's easy to get out of control, uh, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to learn the ins and outs. Uh, but once you get this down, moving around your model is going to seem like second nature and it's going to honestly save you a ton of time, especially if you're using any kind of modeling software on a regular basis, daily or even a few times a week. It's worth checking out this kit. All right, so I think that's it for today. A uh, quick walkthrough and demo of the products within the Space Mouse Wireless Kit 2. Uh, I'm really excited to keep working with these and trying them out in the future. I'm also going to be posting up a video in the coming week or two here going over the Space Mouse Enterprise Kit, which includes the larger version of the Space Mouse, the Enterprise, which has a handful of additional buttons that are programmable. Uh, as well as a screen and contextual menus depending on the software you're using. And it also comes with the larger CADMOS Pro uh, wireless, which is a bit of a bigger version of this one here with a little more weight to it. 
uh, great if you're in an office on a desktop all day. Uh, I would definitely recommend that kit. Uh, so that video is going to be coming out in the future. If you like this one and you want to check it out, I'll put that link down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get that update and the new video when it comes. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I will be posting more video and content about these mice in the future. Uh, and thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.